Hi Tech Dad, and today I'm talking about two portable HD recorders, namely the Flip Video Ultra HD and the Kodak ZI-8, also a high definition recorder. A lot of people have been asking me what are my opinions on these two, well I finally have been able to take a look at both of them, uh, and I've written a fairly comprehensive review on my blog at www.hitechdad.com so I encourage you to read that full review also in this video I'll, I'll show each of these uh, devices just at a very high level and show some side-by-side -side videos of how they perform so first let's take a look at the flip video ultra HD as you can see it's got a, a fairly small form factor there's a, a lens that has a protective cover power button there's an attachment here where you can uh, attach a, uh, a tripod or something like that there's a HDMI port uh, and this is not a normal size HDMI it's it's the the smaller size there is a sort of a switchblade action here for the USB connector and you can connect these to both Macs and PCs. It's very handy. The software to uh, download and work with your videos is already loaded within the device itself. And on the back side here is the <coughs> infamous big red button uh, for recording and some other navigational items as well as delete and play. So powering up it only takes a few seconds you hear the click and there we have it. So the Ultra HD has 8 gigabytes of storage it comes with that storage so you're good to go right out of the box there's a display that shows how much time is left on your storage all you have to do when you want to record is basically click the big red button. So I'm recording right now and you can see as I move around there, click the button again, and it stops. If I want to do playback, I simply hit the play button. So I'm recording right now. And here you can see what I've been doing. And I can pause it. The other nice thing, you can zoom in and out when you're recording. It's got a 2x digital zoom, and it's easy to delete videos that you don't want. So I can just click yes, click OK and it's gone and there's a picture of my daughter uh, so pretty nice overall and I can easily just turn it right off and it says goodbye this is the Kodak ZI-8 which was just released about a month ago so you can see it's got a much glossier finish to it uh, it's more rounded a little bit slimmer than the Ultra HD, the flip video, a few more buttons on the back, but it's got a lot of the same features except here you can see there is a jack for uh, an external microphone. You have a, a place where you can uh, access an HDMI slot, uh, put in an HDMI cable to connect it to your HD TV. It's the same type of cable that works on the, the flip video. There's a, a power charger there. You can also charge both devices using the USB when connected to the camera. There is a mount for a tripod as well on the bottom here. Um, there is a protected case here for the secure digital card, the power button, and, and the ZI-8 also has a flip out uh, USB port. It's a little bit different. Pops out like that and it's on uh, sort of a flexible, not really a cable, but it is flexible versus the, the uh, Ultra HD, which is a lot more rigid. So that snaps away. Powering up the Kodak, you have to hold the power button a little bit longer, but it does power up within two seconds. And immediately you're greeted with, on the screen, some various options for which you can uh, film your video. So it's got 1080p, 
it's got 720p with 60 frames per second, 720p with uh, 30 frames per second, WVGA, and it also has a built-in camera mode so you can take pictures if you want to do something like that. So I just took a picture there. Uh, a lot of the the workings are very similar. You have easy access to to settings on the screen. You can set time, contrast, sound level. There's also a built-in image stabilization as well as a smart face tracking that will supposedly ensure good lighting for anything, all, any of your subjects' faces. Uh, so to record it's very easy. Again, you push a red button and you start filming. So let's see. Oh, I think I'm actually in snapshot mode. So let me move over here to 1080p and I click record. The light goes on and now I'm recording at 1080p. Very easy to use. If I want to do playback, simply hit the play button and it'll start playing. And it could be in a there we go. Let's try that one right there. I click record. Light goes on, and now I'm recording. At so there you have it. Testing the Kodak ZI8 and the Flip Ultra HD. This is just a panning using high definition filming. Uh, the, the one thing that I should point out that I liked about the uh, Ultra HD is that, look, I'm balancing it on the table to have it act as a tripod. Can't quite do that with the Kodak. But still, you can see side by side the Kodak's a little bit thinner uh, and the, the Ultra HD is, is a little bit more like a, a mini brick. Anyway, both devices are very solid. Again, I encourage you to read my review as I go into a lot more detail there. So this is High Tech Dad. My blog is www.hightechdad.com. And you can follow me on Twitter as at High Tech Dad. Thanks for watching.